Hi, it's Seta here, and in this video I will show you how to create a terrain like this under 10 minutes using free tools in Unity. So let's get started. To create the terrain I will use stamps from a free package called Stampit. So let's select the stamp terrain, let's increase the stamp height and to stamp terrain from current height, simply increase this value to 1. Now let's select our stamp, let's increase brush size and let's stamp this terrain. Now let's increase the stamp height. Let's select another stamp, increase or decrease the brush size and now you can stamp terrain as you like. In this step we will paint our terrain. For this purpose we will use Procedural Terrain Painter, which is another free tool available in the Asset Store. So first let's click on the terrain and add component. Let's add Terrain Painter. Let's open it and set Terrain Active. Let's increase the Splat Map Resolution and Map Resolution and go to the layer. And now let's add some terrain texture. Please remember that the layer that is higher in the stack will cover the layer below. But this is not a problem because each layer can be moved freely. On each layer we can add a modifier. Like here I can add height and set the max height of this layer and max falloff. When we finish one layer we can go to the next one and here I have a rock texture, so I can select slope to place it only on the slopes of the terrain. This tool requires some practice and understanding of how different modifiers work, especially since we can use many different modifiers on one layer to obtain a desired effect. So spend some time to practice this tool because I think it's really good and speed ups work on large area. Once we finish applying basic texture, we can always remove this tool and correct the place we want to look different. Because I create a riverbed, now I will add some water, so right click, water surface, river. Let's place it in the center of the area, rise a little bit, rotate and scale to cover the entire terrain. Now let's move a little closer and I change the distance wind orientation to change direction of the river flow. Of course, adding river is optional, because not everyone will need it in their terrain. Now we must add some vegetation to our terrain. I will use Nature Manufacture asset, but you can use any other, such as for example the models from Book of the Dead. So select terrain and find tree. Edit tree and add tree. Now let's add some tree and other vegetation. If you want to create a forest, remember to add vegetation of different heights to simulate the different layers of the forest. After adding the models, we will now place them on the train. First, we will use tree height to set the minimum and maximum size of the models. But instead of setting them individually, we will use for this mass place tree option. For this terrain I now need 10,000 models, so I change it to 5,000 and click place. And now Unity will place 5,000 models on our terrain. Of course Unity place models on the entire surface, including the water. So now, by holding down the control key, we will remove models from places where we don't want them. 
I encourage you to also add elements yourself in the key places, but the basic terrain is almost ready. We just need to add grass and smaller vegetation. To quick add grass we will use terrain tools. To install them select Window, Package Manager, Unity Registry and find Terrain Tools and install them. After installation, when we click on the terrain and go to the inspector, we can see that we have a much more extensive menu than before, as well as several additional elements helpful in the carving the terrain. But in this video we will only use Spine Details option. First, let's add some grass models, and I will only use four to better demonstrate how the tool works. After adding the models, when we start adding them to the terrain, we can see that the tool will automatically add our models, mixing them among themselves. By using target density, we can determine how often the given model will be used, and we have very easy access to options. I want to show you one more thing in this tool. Here we have a brush mask filters, and when we hit plus, we can choose filters. Today I will use layer, and now I can select the layer, increase the sharpness, and now when I start painting, the details will be painted only in this selected layer. Of course, you can also play with other filters and see what they do. Thanks to this, we are able to add details in a large area in the short time, and the details are nicely mixed together, increasing realism. The scene is almost ready, the only thing left to do is add lightning and post-processing. To make it shorter, I just used my drag and drop volume here. Now all you need to do is add a reflection prop and the scene is ready. And that's all for this video. I hope that the tools I showed you will be useful and of course if you have any questions please write them in the comments below. And until next time, see ya!